John D. Fox has created uh, that uses two things, YouTube DL and I think called MPV to basically use Twitch without the Twitch. And I'm going to give those tools to everybody now so you can have a copy. Uh, I already did a give here. I'll give it to you again. It's called, we have one called Twitch Formats and Twitch View. There's the links in the dot .files. Um, you can just go to the, the dot .files and you can go take a look at it. But I just want to talk through the file really quick and then I'll, I'll end this video. So, um, first of all, we have this really cool thing. I, I had no idea that you could do this. This this is a, a basic shell script that uh, calls YouTube-DL with dash F, which returns the list of formats. And yeah, there's no music right now. Uh, there's no listed formats. And then it uses a command uh, that I've created called map, which is just, uh, I mean, here it all, it's not that, it's just a Perl. It's just a Perl command. It just loops through every line like awk and does stuff to it, but it does it in a much more powerful way. This, what I'm doing on this line right here, it cannot be done with awk, not as easily, not nearly as easily. So that's what, that's what that's about. And I can go ahead and give you the Perl stuff. Here's all the Perl, um, scripts that, that I use for this kind of thing to replace set in awk. Uh, but in this case, I'm using one called map. And not to be confused with the map, you know, keyword in Perl. Um, so what does it do? Well, if you, if you, first of all, if you have a Twitch login set, in my case I do, RWX Rob, but if you didn't, you could just call it Twitch, uh, formats and then give it a, you can give it a name like that, or you can just use it without it if you have it set in your environment variables, which I do. And, and then you hit enter and you'll get, uh, an, a, a listing of options you can pick. Uh, and these are directly, you can look at the actual output from YouTube DL and you can see it's pretty verbose. And so this filter, the Perl stuff filters it out and we can get a nice little happy, pretty one if we want, but see, that just gives you the format. So, um, uh, long maintained package. Yeah, it really is. And so, and then you go to the other, to the other one. So this, you know, in Unix philosophy fashion, we break it up into two different scripts rather than have them be all in one. Uh, particularly because this one just requires shell and the other one the other one we're going to write now is uh, have written is, is pearl so the um the name of this one is um what do we call it view twitch view and i'm just going to review this really quick we use pearl um user bin pearl we don't use the env because of the security concerns and the performance hit so you can change that if you need to to whatever you have maybe use your local bin pearl whatever it is is we require 5.14 so we can use uh the say command and get good good unicode support uh, nothing below 5.14 is usually is, is, is worth using in my opinion. Uh, say is say is an alternative print that actually puts a line return at the end. So and it's slower. So, I mean, less to type and everything. So that's why I use, but you don't get it unless you actually force the use of it. Uh, we're going to pre-declare the global ish variables up here, name and format. Um, and then we have these, these functions. So this function actually takes an array, whatever the array passed in, it maps through it, gives it numbers. It basically is select from bash or K shell or Z shell. And, um, and, and that's just an implementation of it. It, it. it keeps looping around if you don't answer a number until you answer a number and then it gives you the answer number back. We have another function here called usage, which just dumps the usage. Um, and this actually, this actually pops the name of the script off the end. So if you rename Twitch, Twitch, uh, if, if you rename Twitch view to something else, it'll still work because it'll get the right thing. Uh, ENV is insecure and uh, unnecessary performance hit because it'll put, it'll, it'll look for whatever's in the path. Um, so get, let people do that. I've always hated it. People still do it. That's fine. You can do it if you want. That's fine. Be, be happy being completely insecure. Um, so right here we have get format, which this, well, actually let's put a space space here. Already committed that, so what the fuck? I can just leave it like this. So we have get formats. So this calls the Twitch formats. To, uh, Pearl supports backticks. Um, there's another way of doing that. You can do, I think it's QX. Yeah, so I could have done like uh, QX like that. It's the same sort of thing, but backticks are fine. And that runs this, replaces name in there. So that's, you already know Twitch, uh, Twitch, what Twitch formats does. We ran it over here. And it picks a format, and then it, it, it sits around and it actually returns the format you picked by prompting, by picking one of them, subtracting because you know zero is the initial index, and then uh, argv uh, zero in Perl, uh, the name of the the name of the of the executable is dollar zero, 
Um, so argv is always at the beginning. It's the very first argument. If you don't go, go has the actual, you know, it's true. It's true to form with C and stuff where the first, the zero argument is actually the name. Uh, and Perl argv is, is literally the first argument on whatever. So this says, give me a name. If there's no name, then set it from the Twitch login. If that's not around, go to bail the usage. Uh, if there is an extra argument, let's set it as a format so you can pass it in if you want to, if you know what it is. Otherwise, we're going to go get it. And if we get it, then we, we say the format that we're going to be using here. And that actually can go, but that's not hurting anything. And then and then we go ahead and build the URL for the name and just do an exec. This is If you exec with, with quotes like this, it will do a shell exec as, as opposed to a system exec, which will pass the arguments without a shell expansion. But if you do, if you put it within quotes, it'll do the shell expansion. Uh, those are all Perl isms. I don't have a semicolon on the last line here, which is strangely is a lot like Rust. Um, the last line does not need a semicolon. That was an accident in my case. Um, so, so then what? So then you can just run it. You do Twitch view, and since it infers the name from my environment, it'll just it'll go out, ask what's going on, and it says, okay, so here's the different sizes. Uh, this time I can pick one though, so I can pick the small one. And this, this fires up MPV, you have to install that, um, which uses uh, a bunch of technology, uh, movie player sort of things, FFmpeg combined with MV player, I think it is. And just, just to sell MPV and you'll get this. And you can shut that down if you want to, but now there's my little, my little guy. And it has sound support and everything. So you can actually set your transcoding however you want. Um, and I believe it'll even give you 1080 transcoding when when uh, when your when when my Twitch stream might be a lower transcoding. Oops, set the beach back. What happened to my beach? What happened to my beach? Oh, all right. So let's go back. Anyway, so I lost my little guy. There he is. Hello. Anyway, a little bit yeah. laggy, but considering it has, has to go there and come back, Hello. that's not too bad. So we close that up, and we're good to go. So you have all the links to those things. Uh, if you don't have them, just go to go to my GitHub, which is in the description, and or in my abouts, and, and then go to RDBX Rob, the, the main repo there, and you can go find them in my dot .files, which are highlighted. Uh, and with Pi, it's nice and putting put a broken glass. Yeah. So there you go. That's some fun way to, to do it. Thanks for the follows. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not too hard. It's not too hard. I was really surprised how easy it was. I was, I was really blown away when uh, Sir John gave that script to us. I mean, the original script, of course, we, we ported quite a bit from its original form. Uh, I think we have everything committed here. Uh-oh, what did I do? Oh, I put the semicolon. Did I amend that command already? You know what? I really don't need that. I don't. <laughs> if it means another commit, I don't want to do it. Oh, sorry. All right. So that's all. Give it a try. Download it. Uh, you're going to need, um, what are you going to need? You're going to need YouTube DL, which everybody should have anyway. You're going to have MPV, which is a sudo apt install if you're on Debian based. If you're going to need uh, the Perl scripts, at least the map one that I mentioned, that's a dependency. Uh, you're going to need the um, Twitch uh, format dash format from my doc files, the map from my doc files, the Twitch format from my doc files, and the Twitch dash v from my doc files. We put all those on the system. You should be good to go. And yeah, you'll need to you'll need to put Pearl pages, the Pearl map pages on there if you want to understand the Pearl that's under that. That's all for this video.